What's up, folks? CLG here again, and we're not done with the DX Commander. We need to add the 20 meter element and another radial. That's right. We got how many? Three in here? Let's add a fourth one. And where am I going to get the wire to do that? Oh, yeah. G5RV Jr. Your days are numbered. Now, I'm going to rip the G5RV apart and use the wire for the antenna, the, the 20 meter section. And also I'll put another ground uh, ground plane in here. Um, I never used it, I bought it, I can do what I want with it. So just calm down, I'm gonna destroy it. I'm gonna chop it apart and use the wire. Okay, that's the way it goes. It's been sitting in the closet for, I don't know, six months. I shouldn't have bought it. I thought I could make up some kind of goofy, um, whatever, let's just do it, okay? Let's just get on with it. Okay, so if you go on DX Commander, the instructions for the 20 meter element, it's 15 feet, but he also um, shows you some overlap length, the proper installation, which I'm not doing. So I'm gonna cut this a little bit short of what Kellum recommends, because I don't need to do the overlap, and cut. There's the 20 meter. Okay, first thing, let's disassemble this. This is how I had it attached to the top. I stole that from the end fed, this little piece here. So I'm gonna disassemble that. And I'm gonna put these spacers on like Callan says you should. So I'm gonna use all these now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint those black so that when I put this up, you can't see these. Cause I don't want this, you know, I'm trying, I'm not trying to <laughs> display what I'm doing up here. But for now they're white and I'm gonna use them, just test this out, see if it works. Let's do it. So while we have this kind of apart a little bit, I just wanted to show you a few things that I did. The center of this DX Commander is a little tiny little thin rod here and it's got a little eye hook on there. This is where I attach the 40 meter. So it goes all the way up and I do it like this so that, you know, this falls back in down into the, the other tubes and I got to take this all apart again and, and tilt it over to get this center piece to, to telescope out. But anyway, this is how I've attached that. Now what I'm going to do is as you raise these poles, each one of these plastic plates will um, go snug on the corresponding, you know, tube that it's, it's going through it because the center hole is a different diameter as you go up different sizes. So that's the 40 meter antenna, or wire, I guess. Okay, so the 20 meter has got a little network of little bungee cords because it needs to be kind of springy. So we're gonna connect that like this and hopefully this isn't too chintzy. So when I raise this one up, you can look that it has to spring a little bit. So it's got a little, a little slack so it can make the, connect up to the radiator plate. It's a little short but the wire length is correct. So that should be able to make it uh, able to reach the plate so I can connect it and then we can get into the radio room and try it out. So let's raise this thing up and get her up. Oh yeah, it's looking real good, real good, don't you know? And here it is, folks. The DX Commander all Frankensteined out by yours truly. So now, 20 meter wire, 15 feet connected, the 40 meter and another radial, that was the other half, the G5RV, 25 feet of copper wire. Yeah, that goes inside. So we got four radials inside. Got the plates in. We got a bungee cord assembly for the 20 meter so it can come down here and connect. It looks crazy. <laughs> but I can deploy it and hide it. Nobody knows the insanity that's up here in CLG Studios. Okay, let's go inside and see what we get, see how it works in the radio. 
So I think they're doing pretty good on 40 meters, uh, the same as last video. Um, much better. I think that extra ground plane in <laughs> inside has made a difference. Um, although I'm not sure if I'm uh, might be radiating myself a little bit, so I'm gonna take it easy. Sunspot cycle number is 37. It's not the greatest. Uh, I'm just give you a look at my signal and. Uh, I think this is kind of mis misleading a little bit here, but let's just do it. So, do a quick QRZ call. QRZ, QRZ. QRZ, QRZ. This is Lima Alpha Zero, Charlie Lima Golf. K-A-0, C-L-G, Minnesota. K-A-0, C-L-G, Minnesota. So, Definitely getting out on 40 meters, and uh, I think possibly the uh, efficiency of the antenna you know, has gotten better. You know. I mean, I'm seeing more signals in the static. But, uh, you know, I'm not really sure uh, if, if me doing a test on Kiwi SDR is all that accurate as far as my yeah. signal. But I am radiating, and I have absolutely no SWR at all at 100 watts. Now, when I go to 20 meters, that's a little different story. Let's check that out real quick. And actually, 20 meters is pretty doggone good. Let's do a quick little SWR uh, what do you call it when you do the analyzer? Let's do that menu, SWR. Let's clear it. Okay, let's do it, ready? I mean, do a step of 10. You know, it's under 1.5 to one, you know? So it's actually pretty darn good. That 20 meter element is performing. I think I do have to tune it a little bit with the antenna tuner because it is, uh, well, I mean, it's just under 1.5 to 1, so it is operating as it should. I'm not sure what the resonant uh, frequency is here, but I'm, that's okay. This made a big improvement. I, I couldn't get on to 20 meters. I certainly couldn't transmit, and now all that works. So, um, uh, once again, uh, DX Commander, uh, I mean, yeah, I turned it into a friggin' beast by what I did up here, but I'm experimenting and playing around, having fun. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this thing. I think, uh, you know, what I got going on here, the way I got it set up here, it's crazy. You might not be able to see it from where you're looking at the screen here from what I'm showing you, but um, it's technically, electrically, it's correct. And the good thing about this is, is... I can easily just shoot this down and hide it. And that's the whole point of it. So I think I've got a fine antenna once again. Uh, I'm giving a thumbs up to DX Commander and wishing everybody a good evening and a happy tomorrow, I guess. 73 from your old buddy, KA0 Charlie Lima Golf.